in previous videos you have learned about how to design experiment as well as how to analyze data in this video you will learn how to make these model graphs and uh, how to perform optimization for response surface methodology so let's start this video and then click on this model graphs you will find different options first of all we will explore the option of contour graphs you can see here that here is the two factors which is mixed surfactants and homogenization time and their droplet size is given here you can see here a key is appeared here it indicates that uh, the bluish color uh, shows minimum values and red color shows maximum values if you go to here view tools and click on show factor tools uh, the window will be appeared here you can drag this window by clicking on and then dragging it you can place it at any uh, desirable place you can change the terms from here you can uh, if i change ac you can see here the, the the air mix surfactants and disperse phase while third variables is at zero positions or central positions you can also see in factor tools that homogenization point is central at central location you can click on it and you can see here that factor value appeared here you can also change this position and you can see graph will start changing so if you click on default then it will are will appear in a central point then here is the option of sheet if you uh, click on this sheet you can see here their axis uh, low and axis high appeared here you can also edit this value if you want so i will not edit this i will close this another option is if you right click on this graph and here click on add flag you can see here that flag will be appeared here then again right click and here you will find different options set control values graph preferences if you click on this you will find plenty of options for editing of this graph editing of font editing of graph or color so you can explore this value to make your graph more attractive similarly if you click on this then right, right click you will find edit text option you can also edit these axis labels you can also move these flags and another option is if you want to export this graph to word file then here you will find option of export right click on this graph and and here export you can export this file to word powerpoint or to file so i will uh, click on export graph to word here option will be appeared uh, and i will select this one export as enhanced meta file and click on ok you can see here that this graph is transferred to word file now we will uh, explore other graphs here is the perturbation graph and here you can see what type of factors affect affect on this response you can see here that a factor response uh, decrease with the passage of time and then at the end start increasing this overall response of this factor appeared in this graph you can also click on this graph to make it red and it will be more visible for you similarly if you see the what is the effect of uh, c c is the disperse phase you can see here that when uh, the in the droplet size increase 
with this uh, increase in this phase then you click on this one factor it uh, individually uh, fact of individual factor on response variable appeared here you can change this term a b c and graph will be appeared here if you want all factors individual individually individual graph of each factor then this will be appeared here and if you want to explore interaction you can see here the interaction not appeared then you will change it to ac you can see here some interaction appeared here so you can uh, make different graphs by changing these terms after that and you here is the predicted versus versus actual graph and here these values appeared here and it should be linear uh, linearly arranged and uh, in our graph it is uh, already linearly arranged then here is the option of 3d surface you can see this graph appeared here you can change these terms from here and you can move this graph by exploring this option you can see here you can change it any direction similarly as i discussed in contour graphs you can find plenty of option of applying graph preferences and what type of text you want color or different option that appeared here you can explore this option to make this graph more attractive similarly you can also export this graph to word file go to export and here export graph to word file so you can make graph by changing these terms and you will find different options of preferences you can edit these graphs and export to word file another graph last one is the cube you can form these cubic graphs and of different uh, terms you can see here and you uh, you can it is not mostly used but if you want to use it then you can make by using these options next we will move to optimization we will per perform numerical optimizations so firstly here you will find the options of criteria for you will select the criteria of all uh, independent variable as well as response variable firstly our goal is minimize mixed surfactant concentration there is uh, different option available either you want to maximize or minimize you set target of or you set in range or equal to so i will uh, uh, the, my, my goal is the minimum concentration of mixed surfactant so this is the limits and here is the importance options if you think that certain uh, uh, parameters are more important for you then you can set its importance using this option so in this uh, exercise i will set all these uh, independent variables as well as uh, a response variable as equal importance next uh, other independent variable homogenization time i want to mi um, minimum homogenization time so i will select this and, and importance is three as I, I already discussed that in this exercise i will use three importance for all set of uh, parameters so next is disperse phase i want minimum and i next uh, response I want minimum size of nano emulsions, so it is already selected minimize and PNIDIN value I want minimum and it is selected at minimum and I want maximum retention of vitamin. so I select this maximize option instead of minimize so overall my goal is to minimize the concentration of mixed surfactant homogenization time and disperse phase and I want to get minimum droplet size and PNZDIN value and maximum vitamin retention. So after select, uh, you will select uh, these goals. Then you will go to solution option. 
in solution option you click on report and here you, your all goal appeared here minimize 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 and that one is maximize these are the lower and upper limits and weight i set equal weight and importance of these and i set all importance at three now uh, software predict different responses and it is uh, at last you will find the option of desirability desirability value is zero to one and one is maximum uh, desirability indicate maximum desirability so you can see our uh, if we choose 5.8 as mix surfactant and four minutes homogenization time and 6.5 percent dispersed phase the software predict these uh, this responses droplet size pnzd value and carotene retention next uh, step is we will use these uh, independent variables concentration and practically perform experiment in order to validate uh, our model and we will see how my difference exists between uh, these predictor response and the actual response value during our experiments you will find here point predictions options and different you will see here tables their name level low level high level standard deviation or codings and you can after performing this experiment by using these uh, independent variable as predicted by software you can enter these value of here observed values and confirmation you can uh, confirm uh, either your uh, model is valid or not Another option is uh, here summary statistic. You click on here, and uh, here you will find the option what type of version you are using, and response surface subtype, randomized design, design type, what type of design are using, design model. It is uh, give a summary of your entire response surface measured model. In here, different factors, they are either they're numeric, they are maximum, minimum value, they are coded levels, and mean and standard deviation. You will also find response summary statistic here, what type of analysis, polynomial models, and quadratic. And here you will find different options. And you can also uh, export these tables as you export the, uh, the graphs. Click on here, right click and export table to word you can see here that uh, the table appeared here if you click on here and i want all borders then you can see here the table is given here so you can export this table and save your time. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Now we have completed the response surface methodology.